Hey guys, it's Sim and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. As tonight is bound for glory. Tonight is Impact Wrestling's biggest pay-per-view of the year and their final pay-per-view of 2020. We do know of seven matches announced for the main pay-per-view card and one match on the kickoff show. So with that, let's run down everything we do know for tonight's pay-per-view and give you some predictions on who I think could walk out victorious. So first off, on their kickoff show, what they are calling the live Countdown to Glory, the Rascals will be taking on the Deaners. Now this is just a pre-show match. I don't think it really matters in the, in the bigger picture of anything, so I'm going to say the Rascals pick up the victory here. Dez and Wentz do defeat the Deaner boys, Cody and Cousin Jake. As we move on to the main card, we do know that we will be getting the Bound for Glory Call Your Shot Gauntlet. Now, not to compare them to WWE, but this is basically their version of the Royal Rumble. This is an intergender battle royal match where the winner gets to challenge for any champion that they want. And right now, we do know in the match is Heath, Rhino, Hernandez, AC Romero, Larry D, Tennille Dashwood, Taya Valkyrie, Brian Myers, Tommy Dreamer, and Havoc. 20 men and women will be in this match, and we do know that Hernandez gets that coveted number 20 spot after defeating Rhino this past Tuesday on Impact. Now, not all 20 participants have been announced for this gauntlet match, and we've seen some surprises over the last couple of years. Last year, this is where Kylie Ray made her Impact debut, impressed everybody in the company, and got signed. Who I think is going to win is kind of a toss-up. I honestly do not know, but maybe they give it to Taya Valkyrie. She gets a shot at the Knockouts Championship, and that's their last little, hey, we'll push you again if you resign with us because her contract is up at the end of the year. Next up, we do know that Eddie Edwards will be taking on Ken Shamrock with Sammy Callahan in his corner. Now, we've seen a new side of Ken Shamrock emerge recently in Impact Wrestling, especially after teaming up with Sammy Callahan after feuding with him earlier this year. He has attacked Eddie Edwards on multiple occasions, and now the two will go at it tonight at Bound for Glory. And as far as who I think is going to walk out victorious, I think Eddie Edwards picks up the victory here as he wins this match and then goes on a little bit of a run getting back to that world title shot. Next up, we do know that EC3 will be taking on Moose from an undisclosed location. This will be a cinematic match between the two, and it all really started over the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Moose brought back the championship, saying, I'm the TNA World Champion, but never technically won the title. He has successfully defended the title, so yeah. EC3 vowed to destroy his past by destroying that championship. And well, Moose says that you've crossed the line and taken my title, who I think is going to walk out victorious. I think that's going to be EC3. Moose has been on a very good run in 2020 within Impact Wrestling, but bringing EC3 in recently, I think he just needs the victory to cement himself as a top guy again in Impact Wrestling. Next up, we do have a six-way scramble match with the X Division Championship on the line. The champion, Rohit Raju, will be defending against Chris Bay, Trey Miguel, TJP, Jordan Grace, and Willie Mack. Now, this is kind of similar to what they did last year where they had a big multi-person match for the X Division title, had a female in the match, and that was Tessa Blanchard at the time. Jordan Grace is now in this match, and I don't honestly think she's going to win the X Division championship, but who I think is going to walk out victorious is Chris Bay. Chris Bay has been the champion this year, and I think he gets it back tonight. Going forward with the Knockouts championship on the line, Deanna Perazzo will be defending against Kylie Ray. Now, I know people are not going to like me for saying this, but I'm not a fan of the Kylie Ray character. I think Deanna Perrazzo has been near perfect since coming to Impact Wrestling and winning the championship from Jordan Grace at Slammiversary. I think she does pick up the victory and retains the title tonight against Kylie Ray. I like Kylie Ray. I'm just not a big fan of the character and her being the overly happy, I want to make everybody happy. I want to do good by everybody character that kind of gets in the way and overshadows the matches at times with the way she acts with this character. Nonetheless, I think Diana Barrazzo has been a perfect, perfect champion, and I think she picks up the victory, retaining the Impact Knockouts Championship. In a fatal four-way match with the Impact Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line, the Motor City Machine Guns will be defending their titles against Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. The Good Brothers 
and the North. Now I'm a little torn here. I don't think I don't think Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin retain the titles tonight. I think it's either going to the North or the Good Brothers, Gallows and Anderson. I could see it going either way, and either way working out greatly. But if I had to pick one side over the other, I'm gonna go Gallows and Anderson. Gallows and Anderson showed up a slam anniversary. They've tried to cement themselves as a top tag team or the top tag team here in Impact, and I think putting the titles on them shows, hey, you came here. You wanted to show that you were the best. Winning them titles proves you're the best. So with that, I think Gallows and Anderson, the Good Brothers, do walk out tag team champions. And finally in the main event, Eric Young will be defending the Impact World Championship against Rich Swan. Now, this is going to be a hot take here, ladies and germs, but this doesn't feel like a main event pay-per-view match to me, especially for their biggest pay-per-view of the year. Now, this does feel like a big-time match. Yes, it does. Eric Young versus Rich Swan, and how they've built this up has been really, really good. But to be the match, the top match on your biggest show of the year, it just doesn't, it's missing something. I don't know if it's Eric Young as the champion, Rich Swan as the challenger. It's just, to me, and it could be just, I'm used to seeing these guys not as the top guys in a company. And that, that could be it. My mind could be swayed from how they were used in previous times. But nonetheless, I think the match itself is going to be really good. I think both guys are going to go out there and try to prove someone like me wrong that they deserve to be in this spot. And in the end, I think it's that crazy mother... I think it's Eric Young that comes out victorious. Now, there is there is a argument that you can say, no, Rich Swan wins it after everything Eric Young has put him through, but that's just making it too predictable. I think Eric Young does walk out and retain the Impact World Championship. So with that, that is everything that has been announced for tonight's Bound for Glory pay-per-view. Bound for Glory is available on pay-per-view and Fight TV, and we will be live following Bound for Glory on the PW Unlimited Twitch channel, reviewing and breaking down everything that went down on the show. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.